Hi, it's Aga from RV's Artist and today I'll show you a great way to improve your renders from this to this. You can try it on a new image, but it's also a good idea to take your old renders and try to improve them a bit while sitting on quarantine. Add these out of focus shimmers in Photoshop. Many photographers use this method. It can be achieved by placing some object, for example glass, in front of the uh, lens. This way we can achieve some really interesting effects. We're using files from lens distortions, but you probably will be able to find some free images online. They have a really great library of overlays and they are really useful during the post-production process. They are not sponsoring this video, but I will put the link in the description in case you want to check them out. Let's jump into Photoshop. Here is my image. I added some basic color correction, nothing crazy, just some curves, levers and color adjustments. Let's start by adding the dust particles. I have some basic overlay, which I found on Google, and edit it a bit. I copy it to the main file. We have to change overlay to screen to remove blacks. As you can see, the effect is too strong. So let's lower the opacity. The effect is subtle and not so visible at first glance, but it adds a nice touch. I will mask it out from the foreground. Next, let's add some larger light effects to the right-hand side. We have to change the blending mode to screen tool and lower the opacity. Let's add another one. Here again, the effect is not so visible. If you wouldn't know it's here, you probably wouldn't notice it. I'll add a lens glare to the glass in front. It's out of focus, so I have to blur the glare a bit. Lastly, let's add shimmers to the right hand side. I will start with a larger one and then add a couple of small ones. Here, I want the effect to be a bit stronger and visible.
Let me walk you through everything quickly again. We have color correction, dust particles, red side lights. I think actually they are a bit too strong, so I'll adjust the opacity. Then we have the lens flare and the shimmers on the right hand side. Here is a before and after. It wasn't complicated, but the effect is really nice. I cannot wait to see your effects. Tag me on the Instagram with rvizartis hashtag so I can find it. I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe, and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.